Hi, this is Rose from Lookingly Made and uh, today we're going to be doing a very simple and easy and fast pattern. So we're going to be making these kitchen scrubbies. They're so simple to make and uh, they are great projects for leftover yarns and scraps because I mean this is a scrappy uh, yarn project and uh, it's just a combination of two of these and we're done so this is a great beginner project and like I said you don't need any fancy yarn. I'm going to be using a lot of scraps for this so I want to use this up these have been in my uh, storage for about three years and you know you don't just throw yarn away so let's start you're going to need a 4.5 millimeter hook tapestry needle and scissors So we start with a slip knot. This is a worsted weight yarn. Um, it's 100% uh, cotton, and it's from the Premier brand. But you can use any other cotton yarn that you want, uh, which is a worsted weight. So let's start by chaining Okay, now that that's done, now we'll now make half double crochet into each of the chains. We we'll skip the first, skip the first chain, and then into the back bump, make a half double crochet. Repeat that all the way to the last chain. So that's our last. Now we're going to chain one and turn into the first stitch. We'll make a single crochet. In the next stitch, make a front post single crochet. In the next stitch, single crochet. In the next front post, single crochet. Single crochet. Front post, single crochet. The next stitch, so we're going to go A from the back out to the front around the post of the single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way to the last stitch. Now 
and into the last stitch uh, we're making a front post single crochet chain one and turn so on this row row three it's going to be half double crochet across into each stitch Okay, this one is diminishing. I'm gonna add join another one. So either of these, uh, let's go for yellow. And just finish off. Remember this is a scrap yarn project, so But if you also have big balls of yarn you want to use, it's okay as well. But, but it's best that it is cotton, because cotton is um, more absorbent when it comes to washing or cleaning with it. Okay, now that we're done with row 3, what we'll be doing from now on up to row 13 is a repeat of row 2 and row 3. So for row 4, we're going to be doing the single crochet rows. So it will be chain 1 and turn, single crochet into the first stitch, front post single crochet in the next, single crochet front post single crochet or F P S C all right repeat that all the way across row 5 chain 1 turn row 5 half double crochet all right so just repeat what you've done on row 2 and row 3 up to row 13 So once you're done with row uh, 13, you weave in your tails. If you want to avoid weaving in so many tails then, you can just use one uh, adequate ball of yarn for that. So now we're going to join these two pieces together with the crab stitch. The crab stitch is basically uh, doing your single crochet in a backward manner instead of, you know, uh, going forwards okay so the front of this the right side is the textured part it's, it's which is this it looks rough I mean those ridges this is the right side of the scrubber so what this means now is when you make one one part you you uh, weave in the tail slip yarn at the end but for the second one you leave the the working yarn so that we can use that to join the two pieces together. So we're just going to match stitch for stitch. So we will start from the first uh, half double crochet and into this one right here. into the second one just make sure you're matching it stitch for stitch
okay so we're done up to the last stitch so this last stitch remember has a side so that's like we're going to be making two into this uh, space here at into the top of the front loops and then at the side okay oh this is the first so right there at the side and we'll continue and into the single crochet row half double crochet row so repeat that So I'm going to finish off this, the last uh, crab stitch right in here into the last row, which is also the first part of where we began. But since we're not working at the top, we're working into the side of uh, the last row there. So weaving the tail It's a bit stiff because the stitching is tight. Right. And there you have your kitchen scrubby, your scrappy kitchen scrubby. Use it to scrub your sink or I mean to clean up surfaces. And uh, yeah, you see that this is a very quick and simple pattern to do. So thank you for joining me on today's tutorial. And please subscribe to Looking the Maid. I'd love that very much. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Also, you can visit the blog where you, I mean, there are many free patterns that you can check out as well. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. God bless you.